viewers to another episode on SJG 12 exams. In this episode, we continue looking at the 2020 science paper 1. So this is the November paper. Let us look at question B8. Figure B8.1 is a diagram showing a core of wire wound on a soft iron core with current flowing in the direction indicated by the arrows. Mark the north and the south pole on the iron core. So to find uh, basically the north and south pole induced on the iron core, we use the right hand grip. So the right hand grip basically, uh, as you can see, uh, basically is this one so basically we need to hold this coil in a way using our right hand side and our fingers should point in the direction of current so if you see this will be the direction of current so when you hold like that you know that where the thumb points is where the north is this is basically the north pole and this is the south pole so if this is the north pole and south pole then we can easily now proceed to answer other questions so this is how you get one mark then show by an arrow which has been the direction in which a plotting compass needle would do point when placed at point x now when you have a magnet this is north this is south magnetic field move from a uh, north to south north to south so in south they enter then north they come out so it will be uh, like that so now when you place a, a needle compass here to point in the direction of magnetic field so similarly here what you notice here in this case magnetic fields are entering south they're entering south then they are coming out from north they are going back to south like in this direction so if you place a compass needle there it will basically point in the direction of the magnetic field so it will point in where we've pointed with lead ink so basically this is how you get this one mark let's look at c a beam of electrons flows through point y in a direction perpendicular downwards into the paper so into the paper at y show clearly using an arrow labeled f the direction of the force exerted by the magnetic field on the electron beam so what you notice here in this case to answer this question we use Fleming's left hand loop so what you notice is basically since the electrons are entering the paper it means the current is coming out of the paper so if you use uh, your hand where basically the uh, first finger is basically pointing in the direction of basically the magnetic field which is this direction then the second finger is basically pointing in the direction of current now since uh, the electrons are entering the paper the current is coming out because remember the current direction of current is always in the opposite direction of electrons so it's coming out so the second finger points at you but the first finger is pointing in this direction so what you notice here is basically the thumb will be pointing downward what you notice is the direction of force exerted by magnetic field will be basically downward in this direction which is this will be f to be downward if you use Fleming's left and loop. So basically, this is how you get uh, the three marks on this question.